As a quick announcement, the Sweet Softies merch shop is now open. There are gifts for crocheters, crafters, yarn addicts, mamas, and more. It's all designed by yours truly. Here's a sneak peek at some of the apparel in my shop. I have hoodies, tees, and more designs and pieces coming. I also have different items for crocheters like water bottles, caps, zipper tote bags, and canvas pouches. The link to my shop is in the description box below. Thank you! Hi everyone! Today we're going to crochet these cute tiny little people. I'm going to show you how to make the body base pattern, which is um, a really quick and easy no-sew doll. You'll start from the top of the head, working down towards the body. The um, arms and legs are all crocheted directly onto the doll without any sewing needed. And this pattern can easily be adapted to make um, a little girl doll with a dress, or you can um, add hair if you'd like. You can even crochet different hats for your doll. And the hat patterns are actually included in my written pattern. So be sure to check that out. I will give you a quick look at how to crochet the baseball cap, as well as this hooded, um, or a little bonnet. So let's get started on making this cute doll. If you'd like to support me as a pattern designer, I also have the PDF pattern available for download. It includes photo references and it's printable and easy to read. Thanks so much in advance for supporting me. For materials, all you'll need is some super bulky weight yarn. I'm using this very plush honey bunny yarn from Hobby here. Link in the description box below if you want to check that out. You'll also need a pair of scissors. With the yarn, I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. Um, you'll also need stuffing for your doll and some plastic safety eyes. For these uh, dolls here, I used um, eight and nine millimeter eyes. So this doll has eight millimeter eyes. This doll has nine millimeter eyes. It's really personal preference um, in terms of if you'd like smaller or larger eyes. So up to you. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the instructions for our beginning. To begin, we're going to make a slip knot and start with two chains one and two. Then we're going to work in the second chain from your hook and insert eight single crochets. This is the chain method for starting off in the round. If you prefer to work as um, a magic ring, that is an option as well. Usually if you're using velvet or blanket yarn, it gets hard to pull the magic ring shut. So I prefer the chain method in this case. Now that you have your eight single crochets made, you have finished round one and we'll move on to round two. For round two, insert two single crochets in each stitch around, meaning increase in each stitch around. So in that first stitch here, I'm going to insert two single crochets, increase again in the next stitch, increase in the next one, and we're going to repeat this all the way around. You'll have a total of 16 single crochets at the end of this round. For round three, we're going to single crochet and increase all the way around. So in the first stitch, just do a single crochet. In the next stitch, do an increase. And we're going to repeat this around. You will have 24 stitches at the end of this round. Now with round three complete, we're going to begin rounds four to five. I'm using a piece of yarn to help keep track of where my where the start of my rounds are. For rounds four to five, you're simply going to single crochet around, inserting one single crochet in each stitch. 
This means no increasing, no decreasing. We're just keeping with the same stitch count of 24 stitches around. Here, round five is complete, and we can now um, get ready to attach the skin colored yarn. We're going to make the face. So go ahead and grab the color you want to use for your doll's skin, and we'll go ahead and attach it here. What I like to do is to crochet my yarn ends into my project so I have less weaving around to do and it helps keep my yarn ends more secure. So here you'll see that I'm crocheting around the two yarn ends that I have. And I usually carry it for just a few stitches before continuing on as normal. You can just hide the ends inside the head after you're done. So for rounds six, to round nine here, I'm just going to single crochet around, working one single crochet in each stitch. Here with round nine complete, we're gonna go on to round 10. Round 10 is a decrease round. You're gonna single crochet and decrease all the way around. So here in the first stitch, a single crochet. And then in the next two stitches, you're going to do a decrease. So I'm doing an invisible decrease where I put my hook in the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the stitch after, like so. Yarn over, pull through both of those front loops, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. You're welcome to do a regular decrease if you want, or you can do the invisible decrease as I'm doing here. So I'm gonna model it again. Here are, uh, here's my hook going into the two front loops of the next two stitches. Pull yarn through both loops and then finish off the single crochet like normal. So a single crochet and then a decrease, a single crochet and a decrease. And after you go all the way around, you should have a total of 16 stitches here. After you finish round 10, it's a good time to attach the plastic safety eyes. Now you'll wanna make sure the back of your doll is where the color change is. So this is going to be the very back of my doll's head and this will be the front. Now looking at the front, um, I want to insert between round seven and eight, and I'm looking to put them about four stitches apart. So let me see if I put one here. One, two, three, four would be over here. All right, so just wanna make sure that it matches up with the back. Here's the back, and I think we're good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten the backings on. And that's that for the plastic safety eyes. We can continue on with the pattern. We're gonna now decrease around. I'm simply going to do a regular decrease here, going into the next two stitches and making one stitch. So I'm going to go all the way around like so. And that's that for um, round number 11. Next for round 12, we're gonna actually switch to the shirt color of our doll. And you can keep your doll's head unstuffed for now. We'll go ahead and stuff it um, in a little bit. But let's switch yarn colors here. Here's the yarn color I wanna use for the t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the uh, start of this round here. We're going to be doing increases all the way around. So in this first stitch, you're going to put in, you're going to insert two single crochets like so. In the next stitch, you're going to insert two single crochets.
and repeat that all the way around, just increasing in every stitch around. So I've gone all the way around with the um, round 12. And now for round 13 to 16, you're simply going to single crochet around. Do not um, increase or decrease in any of these rounds. It's going to be nice and straightforward. Insert one single crochet into every stitch. We'll meet back again when round uh, 16 is complete. All right, here is round 16 of the pattern complete. Now that you have that done, um, you're gonna go ahead and just make sure your yarn tail is um, nice and uh, won't get undone because what we're gonna do is actually switch over to the arms. We're gonna attach the arms before we continue with the body. The reason for that is so that you can um, attach the arms and um, excuse me, tie the ends of the arms inside the doll without having to um, really weave them in. So this is part of the no sew design. We're going to go ahead and flatten the doll first to find where the sides of the doll would be. So once you have your doll flattened, you'll know, oh, here's the um, doll's right side and here's the doll's left side ready to go. You're going to insert your hook underneath a stitch between round, um, let's see, this is round 12 and 13, right here. And you're going to pull yarn through. Now have a long enough yarn tail for you to tie the end once you pull it through. So I'm gonna have kind of a long yarn tail here to start. And then you're going to go ahead and chain eight. All right, you know what, I'm sorry, let me see. You're gonna go ahead and chain nine, excuse me, I remember that wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once you have a long chain of nine, you're gonna go ahead and work back towards the body. If you want to have sort of a little hand shape like this, you're going to insert three single crochets in that first stitch. So here's what it'll look like. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, not the first stitch. Okay, I keep saying the wrong things. Let me try that again. If you want to have sort of a hand look, you're going to skip the first stitch and in the second chain from your hook, insert three single crochets. So in the second chain from your hook, you insert one, two, three single crochets. Then you're going to slip stitch back to the body. So insert a slip stitch in each of the chains. I'm going to put my hook into the very first or the next chain here. And then pull through for a slip stitch. Go into each of the next chains to do a slip stitch in each. Once you finish slip stitching to the end, you'll notice you have a little arm made. You're going to go ahead and fasten off with a long enough tail to pull through the body and tie into a knot. So I'm going to fasten off with about this much length and I'm just gonna pull it into the body. You can, I'm pulling it into a stitch below the body. So as you can see here, we're between round 12 and 13, and I'm gonna go into round 13 and 14 here. 
and just pull the yarn end through. And with that, you'll see that the um, arm gets pulled in as well. Now, if you choose to pull it through like this, the arm will be um, out, kind of like uh, raised in this way. If you pull the yarn tail in through another stitch, um, it may look more um, flat and down to the person's sides. So I'm going to try that method too to show you how that looks. I'm pulling it into the same stitch up here. Let's pull that first yarn tail in too. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and tie the yarn ends inside of the body. So this is why having the body opened is very useful. You can still um, weave in the ends securely in a very easy way. Oops. All right, after you have the body or the arms tied in, you can go ahead and uh, leave that be and you can work on adding the second arm. The second arm is done in the exact same way. So you're just going to um, make another one in the same area between round 12 and round 13 here. And you're gonna pull yarn through, chain nine, and um, do the single crochet, three single crochets in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch in each chain back. We'll meet back after the second arm is done. After you have the two arms done, now is a nice time to go ahead and add stuffing to your doll. So you can go ahead and stick that up the body and into the head and get some of the upper body portion stuff too. Now that you have your doll's head stuffed, we're going to continue working on the lower body here. In the next stitch, um, you've just finished um, round 16 of the body. We're gonna kind of pick up from there. You're going to insert your hook into the next stitch and we're gonna actually change yarn colors here. For the bottom of the pants, we're going to work uh, this first round in back loops only. So we're just going to single crochet in back loops um, only here. Going into each stitch, um, work in the back loops. As you work in the back loops, you'll notice that you have the unworked front loops being pushed forward in the doll. That will be used later to create a nice little edging for the shirt. So here we are going all the way around and I'm just going to fasten off the old color here. For round 18, we're just going to single crochet around um, in the regular loops. So put one single crochet in each stitch around. All right, and then in the last round, or excuse me, in round 19 here, you're gonna single crochet twice and decrease all the way around. That's a repetition of four times. So single crochet twice, and then in the next two stitches, you're going to decrease. Single crochet twice, decrease. Single crochet twice, decrease, and single crochet twice, decrease.
When you finish that round, you are probably going to end up being in the back of the body. What you'll want to do is get to the very um, side of the body. That's where you want to start your leg. So you don't want a leg coming out from the middle of the back, of course. We're just going to single crochet until we reach the side. So I'm putting one, two, and three single crochets. Let me check here. Let me do one more to get to the very side. Four single crochets. All right. So now I'm at the very side of the body, and that's where I want to make my leg. To do the leg, it's very easy and straightforward. It's the same way you did the arms. So chain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. After you chain nine, you're going to insert three single crochets into the second chain from your hook. Let me move my yarn ball here. Okay, so one, two, and three. Then you're going to slip stitch back towards the um, end of the chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chains or seven slip stitches. All right, and you're gonna insert your hook into the, um, back into a stitch in the body and into the adjacent stitch on the opposite side. So we're gonna be folding the body flat and slip stitching across. So now that I'm back in the body, I'm gonna slip stitch and that secures the leg. Now what I want to do is stuff the body before I completely stitch it up. So here I'm going to add a bit of stuffing. Now my little guy is nice and plump. All right, and after you stuff the doll, you're going to continue on. So insert your hook into a stitch in the front and then into the um, stitch in the back and we're going to slip stitch to seam that shut. Do that again and you're going to go all the way across until you reach the last stitch. All right, before I go into the very last one, here's where I'm going to make my second leg. Same way, chain nine. Then insert three single crochets in the second chain from your hook. And you're going to slip stitch back down each chain in the leg. After you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch um, back into the body. So I'm going back into, oops, going into that last stitch in the body and pulling through for a slip stitch. Once you do that, you'll have your two legs um, of your doll done. Just fasten off and weave in the ends. I'm simply using my hook to pull the ends into the doll's body because that's the easiest thing to do. <laughs> All right, and you'll notice here that your doll's um, almost done. You just need a little bit more of the edging. All right, edging is super easy. Just get the color you want for the top. And we're gonna first start around the neck. You're going to surface slip stitch around between the color change. So go between the skin um, and the 
loops skin in the top pull the yarn through I like to start with a chain first and then go into the next stitch and pull through for a slip stitch this is called the surface slip stitch and it provides a very nice neat edging around your doll's um, neck so I'm just going into each stitch underneath or in between the head and the top and I am slip stitching around all right when you reach the end all you have to do is fasten off the tail and you're going to weave in the ends so here's how the edging would look then for the um body or the um shirt portion you're going to attach yarn in the back of the doll first starting from the back so you won't see the uh, seam as well and I'm attaching yarn to the unworked front loop and that was created when you made the color change between the top and the pants so in the um, unworked front loop attach yarn and chain to begin and then single crochet around putting one single crochet in each of those front loops unworked front loops i mean if you want to have more of a um, dress skirt look you can chain two and do a double crochet around or you can do a half double crochet around. Just a single crochet around makes it look like um, a shorter edging around the shirt. And you're working all the way around until you reach the end. Fasten off and you'll be weaving in the ends. So here's a look at what the front would look like. This little guy is kind of uh, elongated now, so I've got to push him to um, look a little more normal. <laughs> All right, you've got your cute little music note legs here. Okay, so just weave in the ends and then your doll will be all done. For the doll's cap, make sure you follow rounds one to round eight of the head first. This will create um, the same shape as the head, but do it all in one color. We're going to go ahead and make the brim of the hat now. To do that, you're going to first slip stitch um, in the next stitch. Slip stitch again. And we're going to work in front loops only for the next um, few stitches here. So first start off with a chain and then half double crochet in the front loop. Then we're going to do double crochet increases for the next five stitches all in the front loops. So let's do our first increase here in the front loop. Here's my double crochet. And it's an increase with two double crochets in the same stitch four more times so here's my next double crochet increase in the front loop here's my third double crochet increase in the front loop here's the fourth one and here is the fifth one Then you're going to make a chain and, oops, excuse me, sorry, not make a chain. You're going to half double crochet in the front loop of the next stitch. Then make a chain and slip stitch in the next stitch. And this can, you can go through both stitches for this part. Oops. 
There we go. After you do that, you have your hat and you can go ahead and fasten off your yarn end um, and fit the hat over your doll's head. You'll want to do it at sort of an angle here. And as you can see, it goes over the doll's head like so. Just fasten off and weave in the ends. For the bonnet hat, just follow the instructions for rounds one to round four of the hat. It's available in the written pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the strap section. For the straps, I'm choosing to use a different color here. And I'm going to start off with a chain. Here we're gonna chain Sorry, that's my slip knot. And I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's long enough for my needs. If you want to make it longer, feel free to do so. Then you get the uh, corner of your work here. We're going to um, single crochet across in the back loops only from where you fastened off. So I'm just going to attach to that end and, sorry, I should have fastened this off earlier. Okay. Excuse me here. I am actually um, working up this pattern as I go. So it's, um, this part's being free-handed. All right. So I'm going to first attach my, um, strap to the corner of the hood. All right, this is a mess. I'm really sorry. Let's try that again. Attach to the corner here. Let me just slip stitch through to attach. There we go. Now I'm going to single crochet across in the back loops only. And I'm going to hold on to this little yellow yarn tail to kind of tuck it in as we crochet along. If I do that, it will, um, it means I don't have to weave in the end. All right. And here I am just inserting one single crochet in each um, of these back loop stitches around going all the way around the hood. And at the end here, when you reach the very end, you are simply going to make a, oops, you know what, I'm sorry, I missed a stitch here. When you reach the very end of the row, you're just going to chain five or however many you did to start with the first strap. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to fasten off. And you pull the ends. You can trim the ties a little later if you'd like. Let's take a look at our hood here. It would fit over the doll's head like so. And you can use the little straps to tie in the front, underneath the doll's chin. All right, so there's the little bonnet or hood for the, um, for your tiny person. And that's that.